Well, y'all know I'm always trying to do something a little bit different. So uh, today we're gonna try to do a little surf and turf video. So I got my rods with me. I also got my Crossman Nitro. It's got that uh, piston in it. It's the Nitro piston. It's the 177 caliber. It's got the four by 32 center point scope on it. We're gonna float on the right hand side of this stuff all down through there there's a lot of trees and there's a lot of brush piles and stuff like that right on the edge and uh, I'm always seeing squirrels out there so I figured it might be a fun day to get out it's 78 degrees it's gorgeous out here uh, float some of this try to catch some fish and try to shoot some squirrels we'll see if we can do any good y'all stay tuned all right first thing we got to do is get some some bait. Hopefully there's some still in here. Not gonna be real picky about what it is either. That's what I needed. Perfect. Well, that didn't take long. All right, I think this is where we're gonna start fishing. So we can kind of fish through here and then keep an eye on all that stuff. Hopefully a squirrel will show up. But in the meantime, uh, I've showed you all this, but I'll do it again. This is how I Use the shad, cut the tail off. Ain't gonna do nothing with the tail anyway. Now I cut them in half. Like so. I'm gonna put them on a jug like this. I always do the tail piece first. Like so. And then I go right through the eye. That kind of locks it in there. And that's that. The wind's blowing this way, so <clears throat> hopefully it'll push these. There's one. I thought I'd see a squirrel in here for sure. Coyote. I heard him coming from a while back. I thought it was a dog at first. Coyotes are out. All right, so I'm posted up right in the middle of the river here. I've got rods out on both sides. Um, I've got the jugs back out over there. But I think I've got a pretty good vantage point here. I've got this big tree right here. And then I can scan this whole tree line through here. That big sycamore tree is the one I really like to shoot them in because they're the tree's white and they really stand out against it, but they don't always go up in them. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to be keeping an eye on my rods, but constantly just, you know, scanning to see if uh, there's one not in a, you know, up in a tree or coming down to get a drink at the river. So, uh... Hopefully the wind won't, will stay kind of down and uh, I can kind of float here and be pretty quiet. So, here we go. We just had one go down right here. Oh, it broke my rod. It broke my rod. Holy cow. Oh, oh this is not a little one. Oh, he's taking drag. He's taking drag. Oh, my rod broke. Oh. It's hard to fight him with the broke, no leverage on the handle. Oh. That's a good one. Oh. What 
in the world. He snapped my handle. Well, it's like we're down to one bowl. All right, let me go find this handle. I hope it didn't sink. Snapped it clean off. All right, well, I guess we'll have to figure out how to do rod repair. Only got one running, so we got at least one since that other catfish just made a fool out of me. He's moving. Um, got one on the, the old blue noodle. And it's a bouncing. Good deal. So we got one way down there, the one that went running. We got one back here. This is the one that got dragged all the way over here. Whatever fish was on this was moving on. It's, oh, no. Oh, oh, he's still running. I hope it's not hung up in something, but it probably is. He's heavy. He is heavy. So not a little one. Not a little one at all. These are even going to be big enough to do anything. <sighs> Don't put a hole in my waders. That's all I'm asking. <sighs> That catfish was definitely a little bit big for what I wanted to do, so he's been released. Um, I've got some more jugs out down there. I just wanted one not that big. Um, yeah, so come down here a little ways more. I'm just going to work my way down this tree line right here. Hopefully, we'll see, uh, we'll see our target. I know it's going to be almost impossible for you all to see, but we do got a squirrel right here in this tree. He's going up that branch. Okay. Can't lose him. Got him. He came down a tree. Right down there, hopped out on that limb, poked his head out, clean shot with the old BB or the old pellet gun. Clean shot. Right in the ear. There's a male. All right, next. We're gonna gut this guy, get all his innards out of him, rinse him out real good, make something out of him. All right, looks like we got that guy just about at the right time because the sun is starting to go down. 
give us just enough time to get back here and hopefully uh, get some stuff on these jugs for the surf park. We now have the turf park. So, um, yeah, I'm going to check these and then uh, clean this squirrel out and hopefully clean some fish out and make some meat. There's a big one right on this log. I just got to get up there on that side. Not to run him off. Oh, there he is right there. Y'all to stop playing. Got him. Holy cow, that was hard. <clears throat> All right. Got him right under the, right in the heart. Bad news bears. Looks like two of those uh, noodles I put out are completely gone. I don't know if something big got on them and just drug them down to the bottom. Or if they got hung up under the water. I saw one on the way up. Um, I'll have to check the footage, but I thought it was standing up like this. Like it was hung on them. I thought it was hung on the bottom or something. Now it is completely gone hmm. okay maybe they're around the corner maybe one or two, maybe the fish swam around the corner with them I just ain't seen them alright there's one his way down here this boy's been moving Still don't explain where that other orange one went. I think this is also a pretty good size one. I don't think it's as big as the other one though. I could be wrong. That's a decent one. Alright. Hot damn. Alright, I am gonna take a minute and clean these squirrels out real quick. While I got them here. Having a sharp knife is preferable.
конце. Good morning, folks. We're back in the house. It is about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I got to go to work here in a few minutes, so I'm drinking the old Java. And uh, we're getting ready to start this uh, squirrel cooking session. So uh, it's really simple what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit it up in the slow cooker uh, and slow cook it all day. And then when I get home, I'm going to peel the meat off the bones and we're going to make something special with it. So stay tuned. Here is our squirrel meat. I've got it all quartered up, rinsed off, so it's ready to go. Look how pretty that is. People think these things are gross or call them tree rats or whatever you want, but uh, I mean, that's, that is some beautiful meat. So uh, obviously squirrels, they work for a living. You know, they're wild animals, so squirrel is tough. If you have ever eaten squirrel and you had it fried, anything like that yeah you can you're gonna chew on it for a while uh so in my opinion the best way to do squirrel is to either boil it which i'm not a big fan of uh i enjoy doing it in a slow cooker and doing it in some kind of a broth um i think it really brings out the flavor in it uh, makes it really tender and you can use it in whatever you want i've seen people make tacos out of it people make uh, squirrel pot pie squirrel stew they can put it in some kind of, if you saw somebody do some kind of a, almost like a gumbo with it. It's really, you can use it in all kinds of stuff. The important thing is cooking it slow to make it tender uh, so you're not sitting there gnawing on it. So uh, let's get started. I got my slow cooker stuff out here already. Um, I'm going to start right here in this bowl here. I've just got some onions and carrots chopped up. Uh, a lot of times I'll use celery in this too, but the store was out of celery, so we're going celery celeryless. So we got onions and carrots going in there, uh, however much you want. I've only got two squirrels, so I'm not going to make anything huge out of this. Um, after that, I'm going to put our squirrel in here on top, like so. All right, lots of pepper. Uh, and I'm actually going to use poultry seasoning on this too. Um, this stuff's pretty good on it. So we're going to put a little poultry seasoning on them. Like so. A heap and help in the pepper. And I'm actually going to do some time on them like that all right after that take our chicken broth like so and you're going to do just enough to get them covered all right all this i go in the slow cooker or I'm using an Instapot in my case because I don't actually have a true crock pot. I've got an Instapot, but <clears throat> I'm not going to use the uh, pressure cooking feature. Lock it in there. Slow cook. Hey folks, welcome back. It is many, many hours later. Uh, actually, I had that on for eight hours, but I ended up working over quite a bit. So that's probably been in there for like... 10 hours so uh but it just sets on low so next step is we are going to get the squirrel out of the pot and we're going to let it cool down pull all the meat off of it uh and set that aside while we do that or as the squirrel's cooling what i'm going to do is go ahead and make me some uh cheater dumplings so i'm just going to use some biscuits right here um and we're going to Put them in some seasoned flour to kind of thicken up that broth that we got going on in in the pot right now. So I'm going to get squirrels out. We'll let them start cooling so we can pull it. And at the same time, or while we're doing that, we'll get these dumplings going. Okay. Oh, yeah. These guys are just... Falling off the bone. Oh boy, steamed it up. Steamed it up. So 
go ahead and pull all these pieces out here put them on our little plate over here leave the carrots in there all right done done now we're gonna set this aside over here cool down like so all right while I got this stuff here and want to taste this just to see how I like the stock it's a little weak so I got a little bit of this better than bouillon I'm gonna take a teaspoon of that put it in here that'll really kick that stock flavor up you can use bouillon cubes if you want to I'm gonna stir that around in there real good There we go. Now we got the. Now we got that goodness in there. All right. Over here for our dumplings. I'm gonna pour out a little seasoned flour. Just to dip them in. Now we're gonna take our biscuits. I do have a koozie. I'm gonna say this would probably work a lot better with a rolling pin, but you know what? Maybe I put that on my Christmas list. All right, cut these into little strips. Like this. Now we're gonna take these guys dredge them in that flour a little bit now this is uh kentucky kernel seasoned flour it's my favorite and then throw them in here and we're going to turn the heat up to high all right i already see these dumplings starting to fluff up now i do want to thicken this up a little bit because i like my dumplings squirrel and dumplings a little thicker so we're going to put some flour in there try to thicken this up something a little bit more gravy like we're going to let this go for about another 45 minutes on high heat. And while that's doing that, we're going to start picking our squirrel. And here is our beautiful squirrel meat that we have gotten. And it is just completely falling off the bone. Man, that's good. Nah, that's what you gotta watch. And that little piece I pulled off. There is bones. And it's very important not to get bones in your soup. Start going through this. Pulling the meat off and setting it in a little bowl aside.
All right, y'all. You see our dumplings in here forming. This is thickening up and becoming like a real thick soup. We're going to take all of our beautiful pick squirrel. It's going right in. Stir that in. I'm going to say about another 20 minutes or so. We'll be ready to eat that. Now, I think we're going to do us a little surf part of that. And I'm going to just do an old favorite. We'll fry me up a piece of fish. All right. Do a little fried fish, y'all. Hot grease. Some battered fish. All right, that is done. Fish is done. We're gonna plate this up. All right, there you have it, ladies and gents. Fried fish and squirrel dumplings. The old hill country surfing turf. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I wanna thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for the opportunity to, to make these videos and put them out there and I hope they help somebody. hope they inspire somebody. I ask the Lord to forgive me for my sins and guide my feet as I walk through this earth. For it's in your name I pray. Amen. I reckon if I had my drathers, I would have probably uh, put more dumplings in this thing. I thought about four biscuits was enough. I was mistaken. So, learn from me. If you think you got enough dumplings, add about twice that many. Anywho, here we go. Get you all down here where you can see it. This stuff is thick and chunky and warm. Tell you what, it's starting to get cold outside and this stuff will hit the spot. And get me a big old Hunk of this squirrel and a dumpling. If you like chicken and dumplings, you will love, absolutely love, squirrel and dumplings. It's everything that chicken and dumplings is. But so much, that, that squirrel, uh, the, the nutty flavor of it, it's so much richer. It is, it'll change your life. Mm. Mm. All right, let's try your fish. I just did a little uh, egg on it, a little seasoned flour. Perfect. Hey, well, if you haven't already become a subscriber to the channel, I want to invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Drop a little love for me. Um, appreciate all y'all that watch these things. The Y'all leave comments, you know, thumbs ups, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. You know, it uh, means a lot to me. So, again, appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all learned something. Hope y'all had a good time like I did. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Good night.